this video, we're walking through adding a description or an about section to your Mighty Cause page. First, you'll want to log into your Mighty Cause account and navigate to your nonprofit's profile. Once you're on your page, find your dashboard on the left hand side, click profile, and then click into your page editor. In order to make any changes to your story, you will need to be in editing mode. And you can either go up to description and about tab to edit your page, or you can just click right into it. This is a simple inline text editor, not unlike Microsoft Word or Google Docs, so you can simply type what you want into this space. And then we have some options on the top that help you add to your page and make it more engaging. So you can add emoticons, paragraph formatting like headings, you can add ordered lists and numbered lists, bullet points, hyperlinks, images, and videos. Just a note about videos, you do need to upload them first to YouTube or Vimeo in order to embed them on your Mighty Cause page because Mighty Cause is not able to host videos. But both of those services, YouTube and Vimeo, offer free accounts. So just upload your video there and make sure that it's public and you can embed it into your Mighty Cause About section. This space is really to discuss your nonprofit's mission and what you do. This is where you can make a case to your donors about why they should continue to support your organization. If you're participating in a campaign like Giving Tuesday, this is also a great space to talk about your campaign. So share some of your goals, what you're fundraising for, and really make a case for people donating to your nonprofit. Again, this is a simple inline text editor, so you can simply type what you want into this space. And you can use keyboard commands to add bolded and underlined text. Just type the text in, highlight what you would like to make bold, and click Command or Control B. And then just cl click Control and Command B to make it unbold. If you'd like to underline a statement, you can click Control or Command U. And then just do the same if you'd like to remove an underline. The key to this space is making it readable and easy for your visitors to understand what you're saying. Breaking up the text will make it more easy to read. So doing things like adding lists, using paragraph formatting like headings to break up different sections in your description, as well as adding images and video can make this space much more readable and engaging to visitors. There's no need to save in your About section because it auto-saves for you. And if you have any issues with auto-saving, please contact us at support at mightycause.com. In this section, you also have your Updates tab. And if you post an update, what that does is it triggers a, an email with your update to all of the people who've interacted with your page on Mighty Cause. So if you use Mighty Cause in the past and you have donors on your Mighty Cause page and you're starting a new campaign or fundraising for Giving Tuesday, you can start a new update and these updates will post here in your Updates tab. You can also add a custom tab if you'd like. Um, so if you have something that you'd like to share with your audience that you don't want to have in your About section because it's either not relevant or makes it look cluttered, you can add a custom tab. In order to add a custom tab, you will need to go over to your page editor submenu and click add a custom tab. So in this space, what you can do is list things. You can create a custom tab with your operating hours or more information about your nonprofit that you don't necessarily want in this main area, which is what users will see by default when they visit your Mighty Cause page. If you have any questions or need help with your description, your About tab, your update, Updates tab, or any custom tabs, you can always contact us at support at mightycause.com.